You know, on the outset, what I need to tell you is all NBFCs, HFIs, and banks have limited resources. And what all of us would like to look at is increasing the housing stock, which is far more important than increasing retail or um, malls or destination places. Uh, also, because what happens is with the institutions which are lending, we need, as I said in the morning session also, the biggest risk is the exit risk. In, in most developers' um, projects, they are not very sure whether they want to sell the entire thing, whether they want to do fragmented sales, whether they want to do lease. I don't blame them because as and when the project gets over now, if a developer says it's going to take three years, it could be anything between five and seven years when a project gets over, they're ready for occupation. By then, the LOIs that have been signed by the retail guys, maybe they walked away because some other project has come up and it's easier for them to do it there. So, you know, the uh, tenant um, occupancy is something which is very, very grey. And that is something which any institution is not going to like. And another thing which I think we discussed in the morning, I don't know whether we discussed in the morning, but we also need to have insurance for the um, period of time when there is absence of tenancy. And that is something I've been actually talking to a lot of retail guys. Uh, that um, we, they must talk to insurance companies that if a project has been let out and a developer has taken money, LRD, what happens is uh, sometimes it happens that 20% or 30% of the tenancy, there is, they vacate and go away. The developer is not then able to obviously pay his EMI because he is not able to get the rentals enough. So for a period of three to four months, the insurance company will have to give him the tenancy, vacancy, rent. And that would also help and that's something I think all retail guys or even developers should try and work. You have to obviously pay a premium. I don't know whether you're ready for it. But having said that, at this point of time, I really don't think any institution, financial institution, bank or NBFC is really ready to look at retail.